If you ever considered going on a three-day motorcycle ride from Vancouver, BC just to check out the views, here's one you may enjoy. Take a ride on Destination Highway's top-rated motorcycle highways in BC. I had a few days of summer vacation left and the weather in southern BC was going to be perfect. I decided to take the three-day route I had put together some time ago when I first looked at the Destination Highways book for BC. I highlighted the highest rated highways and tied the roads together to give me what I consider to be a three-day route. I printed the map and it sat on my desk for at least a year. I left Vancouver at 8 a.m. on a Wednesday morning and headed up the Sea to Sky Highway. I knew I was going to have excellent weather, but the morning was absolutely brilliant. Whistler continues to grow. There are all kinds of new homes being built along the highway just past the village. I guess it's a great place to hang out in the summer or winter. I see lots of people riding their bicycles down the trails alongside the road. There were a few kilometers of construction taking place on the Mount Curry Reservation. The last 40 kilometers of the Duffy Lake Road into Lillooet is in dangerous need of repair. From Lillooet, I headed northeast up to Cache Creek. From there I went south on 97 then turned toward Ashcroft on 97C and headed for Logan Lake. The plan would have been to stay on the more highly rated Highway 8 from Spence's Bridge, but I'd never seen the mine at Logan Lake. I had to stop to have a look from the lookout above the Logan Lake Mine tailings pond. It's an incredible sight. After Merritt, I got to travel on another road that I've always wanted to take, the old highway to Kamloops. It was absolutely beautiful. The wind was blowing on Nicola Lake and the windsurfers were out. Like the Duffy Lake Road, this highway is in the top 10 destination highways in BC. I made it to Vernon just before dark. Thursday morning started with a cold ride down to Needles from Vernon. It was a thrill riding down this top rated motorcycle road with the sun just rising above it. It wasn't long before I was across the lake and riding again, this time north along the Upper Arrow Lake to Nacusp. The ride to New Denver from Nacusp past Summit Lake is over too quickly. Highway destinations have rated this road from New Denver to Caslow correctly among the best. It has great curves and magnificent scenery. Caslow is a great place to stop and have a look around but I had already had my coffee break and still had many miles to go. I set my sights on the ferry terminal at Balfour for lunch. Someone told me this was the longest free ferry ride in the world. It's a beautiful ride across the lake and I certainly appreciate the ticket price. After the ferry it's another great curvy ride south down the lake to Creston. This is Highway Destination's top rated motorcycle road in BC and it clearly deserves that rating. It's a great ride and enjoyed by numerous motorcycles on this day. At the end of the lake, the wide open, flat farming valley is really something to see. The trip from Creston to Salmo is highly rated. Riding those curves along the hydro reservoirs of southern BC is really a delightful experience. The Salmo Creston Highway requires you to drive through Kootenay Pass at 1775 meters at Summit Lake and back down. And once you reach Castlegar, you have to do the same thing again, climbing the Blueberry Paulson Summit at 1535 meters before dropping down into the heat of Christina Lake. I put my rain gear over my clothes again in Grand Forks before heading out first thing in the morning for the third and final day of my ride. The ride to Rock Creek was fun and fast. Highway 33 from Rock Creek north to Kelowna is another beautiful river following scenic road like so many in BC. After the turn off to the big white ski area, the road winds down into South Kelowna as if it were designed by a motorcycle enthusiast. This feature helps put the road in the top 10 by destination highways. Driving through Kelowna gives the sense that the town has become overpopulated. It's nice to clear the traffic after Kelowna and head down the lake past Penticton. The road down the west side of the lake through Peachland and Summerland is magnificent. You can really enjoy the scenery now. I made the turn off to Karameas, which occurs just before Okanagan Falls. I stopped at the Manning Park Lodge for a quick break with a large group of people spread all over the picnic area. Later I stopped again at the Hope Princeton Slide, which is still the biggest tourist attraction on this route. Riding more than 400 miles each day for three days is a bit rigorous and the beauty of the landscape does tend to overload your senses, but it was a magnificent three-day ride and I would like to thank the two fellows, Brian Bosworth and Michael Sanders, who put together Destination Highways for inspiring such a ride. Safe riding, everyone!